Adaka court sentenced former Chief Justice Eska Sinha to 11 year imprisonment in a graft case. Jahos on the second day of a public transport due to increase of fares. And India is introducing tourist visa for Bangladeshis from November 15, said Indian High Commissioner. Assalamu alaikum or welcome to my TV news. I'm Fawzal Roshan with you in the newsroom today. We are still watching the headlines and I'm going to the details. A Dhaka court has sentenced former Chief Justice Surendra Kumar Sinha to 11-year imprisonment in a graft case filed by the Anti-Corruption Commission on charge of laundering Taka 4 crore from Farmers Bank. The court also fined him Taka 45 lakh. Two accused were acquitted of the charges as allegations brought against them were not proven. Besides, the court sentenced eight others to different terms of jail sentence in the case. Judge of Dhaka Special Judge Court 4, Sheikh Nazbul Alam passed the order on Thursday. On July 10, 2019, the Anti-Corruption Commission filed the case for embezzling Taka 4 crore from Farmers Bank. Chahos on the second day of a public transport due to increase of fares. Many are complaining that extra fare is being collected from the passengers. According to the new rules, they are supposed to charge 28% more than the previous rent. But almost all the counters are charging 50% more. Meanwhile, BRTA is conducting operations in several places including Mohakali bus stand against the collection of extra fare. He has also been fined for not having a charge and irregularities in rent. Road Transport and Brothers Minister Badul Kader called on the leaders of Malik Stromic Federation to collect more than the refix rate and refrain from suffering passengers. Otherwise, a strict legal action would be taken against the responsible transport. He made the call during a briefing at his office in the Secretariat this morning. Badul Kader also remarked that the rise in fuel prices was a casual event during the BNP's tenure. The government has approved the urgent use of malupravir antiviral tablets for corona treatment in the country. Deputy Director of the Department of Drug Administration, Ayub Hussain, confirmed this information to the media. He said several institutions in the country had applied for approval for the emergency use of malupravir. The department initially gave its approval. He said that their recipe will be approved very soon. The UK government approved the drug four days ago. Initiatives were taken to produce and use the drug in the country four days after its approval in the United Kingdom. India is introducing tourist visa for Bangladeshis from November 5th. Indian High Commissioner to Dhaka Sri Bikram Darushami told reporters at the zero line of Akhaura check post this morning. The Indian High Commissioner said that India was introducing tourist visa despite the crowdly situation. Initially, one month single entry visa will be issued. One have to go by plane. Visas will be issued in phases as well as on land and rail. At the same time, he said India Bangladesh relations are much better than ever. Fire broke out at a kitchen market in Hali Shahur of Chittagong Metropolis Tuesday morning. The fire started around 8 a.m. and guarded several shops within an hour. However, no casualties were reported. Upon information, two firefighting units rushed to the scene, but it took them nearly two hours to bring the basil under control. Deputy Assistant Director of the Chittagong Fire Service and the Civil Defense said the actual amount of losses or the origin of the fire could not be known 
on immediately. An investigation is underway, he added. Admission test for the first year of graduation of Jahangir Nagar University for the academic year 2020 to 21 has started today. The admission was started with the examination of the D-Unit of the Faculty of Biology. It will continue till 21st November. This time, 6,606 candidates are taking part in the admission test against 1,069 sets in nine units. Meanwhile, during the first year admission test due to the ban, no candidate can stay in the residential hall. We are about to the end of the headlines once again. Ataka court sentenced former Chief Justice Eska Sinha to 11 year imprisonment in a graft case. Jahos on the second day of public transport due to increase of affairs. India is introducing tourist visa for Bangladeshis from November 15, said Indian High Commissioner. Poland has warned of a possible armed escalation on its border with Belarus. The schedule of the match between Bangladesh and the Sicilies has been changed. That's all from our newsroom for now. Thanks for being with us. To join with my TV news online, visit YouTube slash my TV BD news. And to watch all our programs, visit YouTube slash my TV Bangla, Facebook slash my TV Bangla. Our next bulletin will be telecast in Bangla at 7:30 p.m. And don't forget to join with us. Till then, stay connected. We also be careful to prevent coronavirus and follow the hygiene rules. Allah Hafiz.